As someone who has lived the double life in Hollywood and show business, how do you feel the political and social climate of being gay in Hollywood and the music industry is for someone who's like gone through it, yeah. the process? Well, it's insane. It's inhumane. Um, and I don't, as there's, a something's got to give. And the machine of the hiding, and there's a big machine, let me tell you. Uh, I can't, I'm not an authority on Hollywood. I have marginal relationships with Hollywood, but I have enough relationships with people in Hollywood to know, I know a few people who are in hiding and have been in hiding. And what happens is the machine stays intact. And if you can imagine a blender and people get into it, and the hiding just spits them out, and they, they don't, you don't survive. You can't stay in it. Um, but the machine stays fully intact. And it's unforgiving, and, and it, it kills people, spiritually and oftentimes physically. And you, you, know, you, you tend to see people, uh, I won't name names, um, because it's not my business to do so, but when you just pay attention to the people that you see, that God, they had such a good career. What happened to that guy? What happened to that girl? Now, now she's she's a mess. She's in rehab again. Or she was a, she had twelve hit movies. And where did she go? Pay attention, because it's no fault of theirs. When you hurt so bad, and when you hide and you are denied holding hands with your girlfriend or holding hands with your boyfriend or talking about in an interview about I spent the holidays with my girlfriend when you are denied that basic primal joy that everyone else gets to have it hurts and what we what do you do when it hurts you medicate when you have a headache you take an aspirin when you are tired you sleep we medicate pain that's a, hu a basic thing that we do as humans and when you notice that these people get kicked out of that blender and just that machine just it's going to keep going and it's going to keep going until somebody who has something to lose stands up and just says i'm gay somebody big i mean you know i i had something to lose but i'm not we need a huge huge star at the top of their field at the very top to stand up and say i'm gay and i'm normal and i'm not a mess and i have a monogamous happy loving relationship we need those people nate burke has said it so beautifully on the larry king show the other night when i was on with him he said where are our heroes mm -hmm. we need them and you can't survive that machine i i clearly thought i could when I was 11 years old, cutting deals with God, saying, I can survive it, just give me music, I thought I could survive that machine. And at age 36, when I had my breakdown, it kicked me out. The machine just, I couldn't survive, I couldn't, I couldn't last anymore. And I just got kicked out and fell apart. And I was that close from being a suicide that you would have never known why I did it. Nobody in this room, it just would have been, why did that girl kill herself? So weird. She seemed so happy. Nobody would have known. Somebody needs, we need our heroes. We need somebody big to stand up in Hollywood. We need somebody else in country music to stand up. We need somebody in, in, a, in the NFL to yeah. stand up. We need, we need them all to stand up. We need our heroes. How much more money and fame and success do we need? Right.